Bassmaster just released a brand new rules and regulations change to 2025 season and the Bassmaster Classic. So let's dive right into it and see what changes they make. Before I start, I just want everyone to be on the same page here and I want to read something Bass said um, about the forward-facing sonar on a study they did in 2024. In this study, they did say that for three events, Harris Chain, St. John's River, and Wheeler Lake, less than 15% of fish caught by top 10 anglers were landed using live sonar. That's less than one fish per day. Murray finished at 42% and Champlain ended about 50-50. So we do see that in 2024, they didn't use the live as much as we thought. As it says, we, they only caught less than one fish per day in all the Florida events and less than 50% in all other events. So the first thing Bassmaster did was regulate the amount of transducers on the front of a fisherman's boat. It says in their new article, the number of live transducers will be regulated to one and it must be mounted on the trolling motor at the bow of the boat. Basically, all you can have is one live transducer um, and that's limited to a certain um, one that Bassmaster chooses. They regulated some, took some off. Um, I think the only one they took off was the Garmin LVS64. It's one of their saltwater versions. so. Most bass fishermen won't even have to worry about that. So you can have one transducer at the bow mounted on the trolling motor. Some people started using these like right height turrets and the um, hummingbird, uh, I forget the name of it, but one of their panning ones that's separate from the trolling motor uh, that actually would spin in a different rotation than your actual trolling motor would go. And so they um, took those away and you can only have it on the front of your trolling motor. Average was 2.9. Still, that's a lot of transducers. Some add more, some add less, obviously. 2.9 is just an average. Um, but that's still a lot of transducers, so by basically taking back all those transducers to just one per boat, just kind of evens out the playing field. No one has to go spend 30,000 just to keep up with the um, competitor next to The second rule the Bassmaster made was they limited every angler to 55 inches of screen. This regulation includes both bow and console fish finders. You just add them all up together and you cannot exceed 55 inches of total uh, length. It says bigger head units to boats is becoming a safety concern as the bigger screens may create blind spots impacting the safe piloting of boats. This was, was the main driver of um, taking back the screens just to 55 inches so that boaters could see around them and there was no hiccups when it came to um, safe driving. So during the same study, Bassmaster said that the average MSRP of an elite's electronic setup was $19,443. One angler spent over $36,000, while another had only $9,000. The average inches of screen landed around 63. Some anglers had five live transducers, which we already talked about. But this is just, crazy. I mean, having $40,000, $50,000 of screen, I mean, is unimaginable. So by taking back all the live transducers and taking back the screens actually can help um, level the playing field. Everyone will be on the same field. So it doesn't matter if you have Garmin or Hummingbird, we're all competing in the same um, field and within the same rules. And last but not least, they limited the amount of trolling motors to just one. Some people were, were putting these things called crappie brakes on and they'd go on your power poles and you could actually put them in the water and when you're scanning around up front, if you press the button, it'll actually spin those um, trolling motors and actually pull you back a little bit so then you don't blow out the fishing spot. Um, so your trolling motors are 20 feet behind you and so they aren't right where you're fishing, right on the spot. And so it just, um, helps uh, back you up and it doesn't spook the fish while you're doing that. By limiting this to only one, it actually shows um, how anglers can have like such good boat control with only using one and that they can actually maneuver a boat properly and well within a tournament. So it actually showcases their skills. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you learned something. And going forward, I hope you really understand these rules that were implemented and how Bass has actually taken um, a stand within the um, live sonar world. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.